Welcome back to my channel Technology in the Future. Today, we are diving into one of the most anticipated releases. In the world of cameras, the upcoming Sony Alpha 7V over the past year, there's been an incredible amount of curiosity about this model. Photographers, videographers, and creators keep asking the same questions. When will it be released? What upgrades will it offer? Will it finally be worth upgrading from the Alpha 7 for? In this breakdown, we won't just recycle rumors, we'll piece together a clear and realistic picture of what Sony could deliver based on their recent innovations. The performance of their higher-end models like the Sony A9 III and Sony A1 II, and the direction of the full-frame mirrorless market as a whole, will move step by step, covering the design, ergonomics, sensor improvements, autofocus technology, burst speed, video recording features, and expected pricing. Finally, we'll ask the ultimate question, should you wait for the Alpha 7V or stick with what you already have designed and built? What might change a Sony traditionally follows an evolutionary approach. With its Alpha series, this means we shouldn't expect a total redesign, but subtle refinements are almost guaranteed. The body will likely resemble the Alpha 7 IV while adopting ergonomic improvements. Inspired by higher-end models, a deeper, more comfortable grip would be welcome for professionals who shoot long weddings, travel documentaries, or events. A fully articulating LCD screen will remain perfect for vloggers and solo filmmakers. Sony may also enhance durability with stronger weather sealing to resist dust and moisture. Expect a solid but balanced body built for professionals without pushing the price into flagship territory. While the Alpha 9 III boasts a top-tier 120Hz electronic viewfinder, the Alpha 7 volts is likely to stick with a slightly less advanced EVF good, enough for professionals, but still a step down from Sony's most premium cameras. Sensor and image quality. The real upgraded Alpha 7 IV uses a 3.3 MP sensor, widely seen as the sweet spot between detail and low light ability. For the Alpha 7 V, Sony will almost certainly move up to 40 to 40 for megapixels. That increase offers more detail while still keeping the Alpha 7 R series. As the high resolution specialist, the most exciting change could be a partially stacked sensor offering faster readout speeds without the extreme price of a global shutter. This would reduce rolling shutter issues, improve burst rates, and allow smoother video capture. Low-light performance should also improve thanks to refinements in the Bion's XR processor, offering cleaner results at high ISO ranges. For professionals shooting concerts, weddings, or reportage, this step forward will be highly valuable. Autofocus AI becomes smarter Sony's autofocus has long been one of its strongest advantages and the Alpha 7 volts will almost certainly push it further. Sony has been rolling out eye-based subject recognition across its latest cameras. Even mid-range models expect advanced real-time tracking that recognizes humans, animals, birds, cars, and even more specialized subjects like insects. This predictive AI system won't just be faster, it will be smarter, adapting to complex movements and difficult lighting conditions for sports shooters, wildlife photographers, and filmmakers. This upgrade could be one of the most important reasons to move to the Alpha 7V. Burst shooting. Catching fast action the Alpha 7 IV topped out at 10 FPS, which felt fine in 2021, but is now outdated compared to Canon and Nikon rivals. The Alpha 7V should push this into the 15 to 20 FPS range, thanks to faster sensor readouts. A global shutter like the one in the Alpha 9 III is unlikely, as it would push the cost to high, but a faster stack design should reduce distortion in fast moving shots. For action, wildlife, or sports, this will be a meaningful leap forward. Video features, designed for hybrid shooters video, is where the Alpha 7 IV showed its biggest limitations. It could record 4K at 60fps, but only in a Super 35 crop mode. By the time it launched, many rivals already offered full-frame 4K 60, leaving some creators disappointed. The Alpha 7 V is almost certain to fix this. Expect uncropped 4K 60, improved heat management, and better color science. For hybrid shooters, vloggers, and YouTubers, this alone could justify the upgrade. For K1 to O recording, may be offered in crop mode, giving creators slow motion options, while 8K recording will likely remain exclusive to Sony's flagships. The Alpha 7V will position itself as a professional hybrid camera versatile, but not competing directly with the A1. Price What to expect when the Alpha 7 for launched in 2021? It's sold for around 1,800 euros. Since then, Camera prices across. All brands have risen. With the recent FX models priced above 3,000 euros, Sony is unlikely to sell the Alpha 7V for less, 
a realistic price range is 3,100 euros to 3,500 euros, with most predictions pointing to around 3,000 for 100 euros at launch. It's an investment, but it reflects the rising cost of production and the importance of this series in Sony's lineup. Should you wait for it? So, should you hold out for the Alpha 7V or stick with your current setup? If you already own an Alpha 7.4 and shoot mostly still photography, the upgrade may not be urgent. The A7 IV remains an excellent tool for portraits, weddings, landscapes, and professional work. If you are a videographer or hybrid creator, the Alpha 7 volts will likely be worth waiting for. Uncropped for K60, improved autofocus and higher burst speeds will make it much more future-proof. If your A7 IV is nearing the end of its life, the decision comes down to repair versus investment. Replacing a shutter can cost hundreds, but putting that money toward the Alpha 7V may be a smarter long-term choice. Final thoughts, Sony Alpha 7V won't reinvent Sony's lineup, but it will address the key limitations of the Alpha 7 IV. Faster shooting, AI-powered autofocus, uncropped for K60 recording, and a higher resolution sensor will make it one of the most balanced cameras on the market. With a price tag near 3,000 for 100 euros, it won't be cheap, but given Sony's track record, the Alpha 7V could become one of the most popular professional hybrid cameras of its generation trusted by photographers, filmmakers, and creators worldwide. So, what about you? Will you wait for the Alpha 7V? Or do you plan to stick with the Alpha 7 IV or perhaps move toward a different Sony model? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, if you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update on the latest in camera technology, photography, video gear, and future innovations.